Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, t uh, today I wanted to show you a map I built. I I've been working on it the last, well not the last few days, more like last night and uh, somewhat this morning. Uh, it took me probably, I don't know how many hours to be honest. But this map is a map of a famous Civil War battle, or part of a famous Civil War battle, uh, part of Gettysburg, the Battle of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's Pickett's Charge. Now, Pickett's Charge, if any of you Civil War fans know, it's where over 15,000 men charged up uh, Cemetery Hill at Gettysburg, Confederate, uh, under the lead of Confederacy, and under George Pickett's division, that's why it's called Pickett's Charge, under General George Longstreet, which is then under Robert E. Lee. Uh, Pickett's Charge was famous because it was a failure. It was one of Robert E. Lee's very rare failures as the overall leader of the Confederate Army as he kind of had this illusion that they were unbeatable. So Pickett's Charge is very famous and very inspirational when it comes to the Battle of Gettysburg because if the Confederates would have succeeded with Pickett's Charge, they probably would have been able to uh, destroy most of George Meade's Union Army and, well, the war would have been over a whole two years earlier and Eusebius S. Grant would have never got involved. Long, long story short, pretty much the Confederates probably would have won. So it's very important, this battle. And I play a lot of Mindplex, well I do sometimes, I mean the other two videos that are on the channel so far are both of Mindplex, and I haven't been able to play a game of this yet, but it's called Castle Siege. Now Castle Siege is a 50 on 50 where attackers uh, kind of uh, slowly overwhelm the defenders when they have to survive for 8.3 minutes or till the sun comes up. And so they only have one map on it, so I decided I would try to build a map for it, and I started it out with, I was going to build a castle, but then I realized, hey, you know, this is a good opportunity to possibly uh, build something cool here. And I was watching the movie Gettysburg, because I watch that movie constantly, and it's a very inspirational movie, and I love it. And they were at the battles, that they were at the part with uh, Pickett's Charge, and I went, hey, why don't I just build that? So here it is. Uh, you start the attackers would start in here and the whole point of castle siege is where they have to eventually overwhelm the defenders and the defenders die they become a wolf which is a lot less powerful than a, a normal defender which you have classes and stuff but the whole point is to overwhelm the attacker the defenders after a long period of time and eventually kill their king so which is named king sparkles after you know, the famous Captain Sparkles. So the defenders would start in here, which is where the, the battle first took place. Then they would charge through, up through. Now, the actual battle, it was a whole mile until the hill. So I figured I'd represent that by a good amount of wide open land, because that's pretty much just what it was. It was 15,000 men uh, under control of multiple generals just charging up through this one mile long stretch of field to a picket fence that was actually control stopping a road, so that's what I demonstrated here, and a lot of them got clogged up here. And then, they had to charge up a steep hill to then attack the Confederates. So it's like, uh, thinking there's a stone wall involved, that's why I have the cobblestone wall here. And the Confederates were just raining artillery down on them, that's why they have the, uh, that's why I have the cannons here, or the TNT cannons there to represent, uh, Confederate, or not Confederate, Union, my bad if I say Confederate there. The Union, um, we're charging down on the Confederates that are charging up uh, with artillery, anything from canister to, to solid shot, where some of them they would shoot like metal balls, like a shotgun, other ones they would have uh, artillery rain down on them. It was a vicious, vicious st like style, but it was the only way the Union could stop this just huge amount of Confederates. And so the Confederates would charge up here, and that's where the bottleneck is supposed to be. And then pretty much after that, the hill was barren. Uh, just with like supplies and troops so I decided to put these trees up here because there were some trees just to represent some trees there and then because Castle Siege has to have a king that needs to be um, killed and hurt I built this little lodge and the king would I like the I like this style though I just like this this flooring um, and the king would sit up here in the throne area it would actually be represented by a zombie and that would be the way uh, to kill the king. Uh, this obviously, you know, there wasn't a building like this at, at the top of the hill. There was back behind the hill, there was the Union setup, but 
and then was on cemetery. This is, this is the representative representation of Cemetery Hill. Um, there would obviously not be a building like this, but I just built this building because I like the way it looks, and you need a place for the king to be, and there was no other place for the king to be. So I'm just going to fire off some TNT cannons. Sometimes uh, I built these to where sometimes they'll do that, and they'll shoot off in the air. And then sometimes, uh, if you're lucky, you'll actually destroy parts of the map. Uh, I couldn't hit the button there. Uh, I don't know if any of these are going to do it. Yeah, sometimes that... They're not really doing it right now, but I know for a fact, uh, um, if every once in a while, they will, like, destroy parts of the map down here. And Oh, I did that one. Like that one. Boom. It hit in a big part of the map and everything. Took out a nice chunk. Made it harder for the Confederates to charge up the hill or the attackers this, you know, in this one. And then over here, just kind of like for a joking one, I have one snub cannon. I think this one like self-destructs itself. <laughs> Let me say, um, yeah, it doesn't have the shooting power. It kind of like sometimes it'll break the front of the cannon. But I, I the way I made these in, in, uh, unpredictable is with the uh, slab instead of it being on the bottom, I put it on the top. So then the TNT rests and doesn't sink in. So sometimes it'll shoot out, but every once in a while, if you're lucky, it will kind of like sink in a little bit, or it'll be obstructed on its blow and it'll like lob down, like that one did. But it's not as often as they'll just shoot up in the air. Like, let me see if this one will do it. Let me see, like this one. Yeah, it just shot up in the air. But that will do splash damage. Like, if you're jumping up here, you will get hurt by that. And I think the thing I'm most proud about this map, uh, there's two things I'm really, really happy that I was able to uh, to build with this map. Uh, number one is I was able to encase everything in obsidian. That was not a lot of fun, but that was just because in Castle Siege you have um, hunters, or not, not hunters, um, TNT guys where, well, they'll pick up TNTs, which is actually why I would need to either reinforce this wall with obsidian or hopefully... You know, if this map was accepted, uh, Mineplex would have an ab ab ability to make where this is not destructible terrain. But if it would be, I would just reinforce it with obsidian, but it doesn't look as nice. And that's the other thing, too, is I, I really like this wall. This wall took me a while. This wall took me this and laying the dirt over here. Because this is, uh, this to make it where you get craters, I had to, like, actually just make it all dirt and it's all dirt in here that 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 was not fun uh that was yeah not fun at all i was actually originally building this up in the sky on a different map and i started setting the dirt and i'm like i'm an idiot just build on the ground but i really i really do love this wall it's got the the double slabs and i like i like the architecture that the uh the up and the downstairs make which always is not fun because you gotta lay the downstairs you gotta lay the up the facing uh, like these stairs right here, that's a stair upside down, so you gotta like lay those all in and stuff. That was not fun. But, um, I mean, and everything else besides that, I mean, the, the, this was just laying down. I probably should grass up this zone, but I don't know if I want to or not. I kind of like, and originally my intent was to have the TNT cannons not destroy the hill itself, be a lot more accurate and uh, fire down actually like on the field and make divots in the field. Uh, the main problem was that, well, the TNT wouldn't go far enough without uh, firing. Like it would go up in the air and like land, like stop right about here and just explode. Even if I set it on a, even if I set it with repeaters on a longest time period before the TNT is exposed, if you want it lit, it would blow up here. Like uh, the hill is too much. So I mean, I could set some more batteries up on the hill or I could just like make craters uh, I haven't really decided, but I'm really proud of myself for this map. I think it looks really nice. And just another shot here. I really do. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with myself. I'm not. I'm not always the biggest builder, but I do like the way that this looks. With the, it's it's very simple. I think that's my favorite thing about this map, and that's the, my favorite thing probably about Pickett's Charge is that it was just so simple. You know, just a, it was just trying to trying to overwhelm, trying to overwhelm. And you know, if you if you you overwhelm, eventually you'll break through. You know, even if you're not, in, uh, as it comes for pick a charge, it wasn't. They weren't able to. But I mean, if this you played this map on Castle Siege, you never know. Maybe it would, maybe it would work. So, uh, I think that's gonna do it. Uh, this video ran on longer than I expected it to and wanted it to. 
uh, I gotta render this out and put it up on the channel. Uh, but thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Love you. Bye.